Good afternoon slash evening everybody. Here I am making this second part in order to conclude the first exposition that it came from uh, this morning. So we are having uh, a, full, a whole view of the situation. Unluckily, uh, I got some Windows issues and this is something that I think it's recurring in the majority of the Windows 10 operating system and it is something that also traders sometimes sometimes have to deal with the platforms that are slowing down and Windows that is calling for Windows Defender or for some updates and then make a, makes a mess with the system so you need to maybe reboot or whatever or you have other applications running you know it can be a case also like that so also this i tested the, the good quality of my algorithm even you know losing the, the site of the trades for some some time and then coming back so um i now we are at the ending of the uh, european session and i have already closed all my trades but luckily i saved all uh, the reports so we can give it a brief uh, look and have a discussion about about them and what they are uh, showing us so if you if you remember uh, let me just grab them okay if you remember and check anyway because if you don't remember you can always go and check um okay this is the second this is the third and this is the first third okay so this way we were finishing our previous uh video tutorial with this performance so you can check the trade account and the operations that i was running i have closed and other operations that I started to run, if you remember, and then I closed the video because then I had to focus also on my trades and then I would have made the second part with the ending and see how I would have performed if I would have been in the need of targeting another currency different from Australian dollar for today or if I have to keep that and what other trades among all the trades that I was running should have been kept for the long and others that were starting to retrace or somehow giving an impression of uh, going sideways and in that case would have been better you know take only the profitable ones that would have made pips instead of being in a, in a kind of um, sideways situation that then you don't even understand from your balance what is going on and can be disorienting so you avoid that kind of stress if you are positive you accept also little losses but the overall must be great and positive okay so in the second in the second screenshot uh, of statement that i that i took from this trade from this trade today you see the same account number more operations and here was like half an hour ago, something like that, where I decided at the end to close some positions, even in negative, because I was not trusting that much both Swiss franc and Japanese yen. And because my algorithm was suggesting more euro and GBP against Australian dollar, even in the one hour time frame and in the four hour time frame. And Australian dollar strong, even with even if now uh, is starting to raise also the US dollar, but the US dollar the Australian dollar strong even in the weekly time frame okay so as we can see after 12 trades uh, we went from 10,000 to 11,000 almost 12,000 and then with 26 trades okay we arrived 3,000 euros uh, more mm then of course uh, you can always check this performance we have now some losses it's almost impossible to make a hundred percent sometimes it's possible if i would have stopped this morning and not doing anything else i would have made a hundred percent but i also accept some risk because we the risk and the profit are linked together risk and gain risk and gain and uh, i want anyway to give some trust to, to my trades and my forecasting 
that was coming from my expert advisor. So this was with just 1% of drawdown. And then the third one, where I close also the latest transactions with the same account. These are the new transactions. Please go and check by yourself. You are fresh of today. You can go check, or even if it's not today, it is in the future. You can always refer to these days and go back and check the charts of your MetaTrader. If you have an ECM broker, it's better because I rely only on trustable ECM broker. And uh, with just two operations left that I closed, this was the final gain. In no more drawdowns that was in the, people, in the previous statement and an overall performance that is likely to have almost every day. Okay, just a bunch of trades that stay in a page, very clean, one position open per, per and then re I repeated the procedure because if, if values are true and they are not and they are solid they must be true until they change or something changes in the surroundings that makes you understand that that movement maybe that currency can be can continue to be strong but other currencies from weak become strong as well so that it's why it, they go sideways and if you uh, refine your analysis also with some separate analysis like I do from Excel or other things then the precision of your uh, uh, trades and hedging that you put together, you know, more currencies with some kind of reasons and correlation becomes even more sharp and effective. Is that sometimes markets are very confusing and so you have to proceed per grades and maybe also try something that can go wrong but that can give you a high profitability and in another case you close it without too much loss okay so that's very simple approach then with the aid of these modules it's very useful in order to to get a, a visual aid of the performance of our portfolio when of course the trades are running and you can see here the balances are expected okay no, not exactly why or oh, because this is the second which one uh, yeah sorry this was the gross profit I was looking at this the balance 14 2, 2, 9, 3, 7, 14 2, 2, 9, 3, 7. so this is exactly the same exactly because I don't want to mess around and also not to confuse you but be very simple so I think that this is the maximum of simplicity you know simpler than this and it's all manual trading which can be this effective robots cannot be this effective in very short moves but I prefer to make this profit in less trades that make this profit in three or four times the trade and the time because the space and time that I sacrifice to myself for something that I can obtain with less a bit of more ability to risk but having a limitation of our risk that comes from the analysis of the market if now we see the market weekly and now I just open just to recap and to give my system a bit of bread because there are a lot of calculations that are occurring every second every tick not every second in the weekly time frame, Australian dollar is still strong, but also US dollar now. So I stopped Australian dollar for today. In the daily, we are still having this projection, Australian dollar Swiss franc and Australian dollar euro. But we are at the end of the day and at the end of the European session. If we go down in the four hour chart, in this case we are observing euro dollar for as regard the chart, but here are the results of the whole market. So no matter the chart, here is something dynamic, okay, dynamic data that are updated and comp computated at every tick. We are having still Australian dollar, but this time with Euro and G GBP, that was my choice because GBP was also uh, weak here, 
but as I can see now in the hourly time frame, there is no more Australian dollar GBP, but there is a New Zealand dollar CAD, New Zealand dollar CAD that is emerging in the hourly time frame and in the 30 minutes as well and in the 15 minutes as well this is something that I see now and uh, I don't want to over trade so I will not put myself in another situation where I see something in the lower time frames but I can give you anyway a projection that at this moment if we check the New Zealand dollar uh, CAD it's just something that I see now because it's I know I'm more relaxed probably <laughs> okay let's apply our uh, template oh. this one okay and I can see how New Zealand dollar card is going but from our projection New Zealand dollar buy and cut and sell this is a new possibility that anyway we have to understand we are now only in the uh, US session and also data at this moment they are just creating a new uh, setup it will take a moment it's not giving me anything is that when I mm, play a video and I record a video sometimes they are going in conflict let me just redo the operation uh, but anyway this thing you know I can also reserve it for another because uh, this will messed up at this moment probably yeah it's receiving information let's do this let's stay strict to these values anyway we see them here we don't need a chart but anyway we're having values like 45 and 40 if we are in the 30 minutes of uh, 39 and 34 in the hourly and here they already somehow disappearing in the four hours so it's not even the case to go and look for that we have to wait for an asset at least in the four hours and in the day for determining a new uh, bunch of trades if it's the case for that day uh, okay so nothing much more to say than we should uh, a very good evening and thanking you so much for watching and supporting subscribe my channel for the new videos that are coming in the next weeks because I will take some vacation as well as soon as I'm finishing finish with this week for about some days and anyway if you have requests or whatever you can always write me because I will always be available for checking the mail or your stuff even if I'm on vacation okay so enjoy time, enjoy space, enjoy life and take care. Okay, and make good trades with discipline and study and develop also your sense through the markets for reading them properly. Okay, have a great time. Bye.